Hello and welcome to the Upfront Communications video blog. This is the very first edition. Thank you for coming here and joining me today. My name is Lauren Sergi. This last week, the internet has been abuzz with an article that was written by Naomi Wolf. She's a popular feminist writer, and this article appeared in The Guardian. In the article, Naomi Wolf started to address a very popular vocal trend among young women and among pop culture here today, known as vocal fry. Vocal fry is when you hear this sort of gravelly tone in someone's voice that usually comes out at the end of their sentences. It's really croaky, it's really creaky, it tends to be a bit quieter and lower in register, but it's this very, very gravelly tone that you can hear in my voice right now. She claims it causes women to dismiss their power in the workplace, that employers and business people, when they hear women speaking with this voice, that they view them as uncertain, less educated, less competent, even untrustworthy. And of course, these are things that can really hold women back. So after Naomi Wolf's article came out, of course, there was backlash. And she was slammed by people writing in saying that it isn't just an issue with young women, that many men use vocal fry too, and that they're never criticized for it. They were also saying that because vocal fry is stated as a problem among young women, that it's being used as one more excuse to not listen to women's voices or to even silence women's voices in public. I think that both sides of the argument are missing the point. The vocal fry that Naomi Wolf talks about, and specifically that graveling and the creaking, isn't the only thing happening in the person's voice to make them seem less competent or hesitant or less certain about themselves. Both men and women do it, first up. If you start listening for it, you'll notice that it is not just young women who adopt this sort of speech pattern. It happens with everyone from time to time. It typically occurs when you try to drop your voice into a lower register, when they're trying to be quiet, trying to sound serious, when they're trying to lend a sort of gravity to their words. It also happens when people are tired, when they're relaxed, or if they're not supporting their voice with enough air, from their diaphragm and with enough musculature from their overall body. So when everything drops down like that, when you get less energy, less air, more relaxation or more exhaustion, you're more likely to allow your voice to gravel out at the end. Next, it's not just a graveling that's occurring with this vocal fry speech pattern that the pop celebrities and the reality TV stars like the Kardashians are using. There's many, many other things that are applying into their speech patterns that are making them give off this impression of dismissiveness or of untrustworthiness. One of them is a trailing off that they do at the end of sentences. They don't end their sentences with a full stop. They don't give them the same amount of strength when they're done speaking as when they start speaking. And there you get that trailing off that leads into the graveling that makes them seem exhausted or world weary. There's also usually a lack of expressiveness in their face, kind of this weird dead-eyed look and a slack facial expression that makes them seem really disengaged and really uninterested in what's going on. It can also give this sort of superior tone to what they're communicating and to what they're saying, as though the people they're speaking to or the topic they're speaking about isn't worth this output of energy that they would normally give. And that sort of energy is really important when you come to speak. It's what shows people that you are engaged, that you're interested, that you care about this back and forth exchange that you're giving to the other person. Now there's the other side of the argument, the rebuttals, the people saying that we have to look beyond vocal fry, that judging how women speak or judging how anyone speaks in this manner is just looking for an excuse to not listen to what they have to say. Here's the problem. The way we say things matters. The way we communicate to people, the voice that we use, the energy that we put out, yes, the mannerisms and the affectations that we use to color our speech absolutely matter. They create a subconscious impression in what's going on inside our own heads, and the audience is going to listen to that. The people you speak to, whether they realize it or not, are basing part of your message, part of what you're communicating to them, off on the way that you say it, on the way that you present it to the world. And to simply say, well, we should be able to talk however we want, not worry about characteristics like vocal fry or upspeak, is frankly naive. 
We're going to give people a certain impression when we talk to them, and it's up to us to manage that impression that we give. It is up to us to make sure that the way we're expressing, the way we're using the, our voice, the way that we're using our body communicates the message that we intend to give. So if we're going to adopt that vocal pattern that Naomi Wolf is talking about, that reality star vocal fry, that graveling at the end, this laconic way of speaking and this expressionless style, then yes, people are absolutely going to judge us as being detached, as being disinterested, and probably as being untrustworthy too. Frankly, that's the impression that you're giving when you're speaking in that way. That you're dismissive, you're bored, you're world weary, you're uninterested, aloof, possibly even superior, and a touch on the snobby side. You can't blame your audience for believing that about what you say when those are the cues that you are giving them. If you don't want to give the impression that you are a reality TV starlet or that Kim Kardashian is your idol, don't talk like her. Give some power and some energy behind your voice. Actually come across as though you really care what you're speaking about. On the other hand, don't worry too much if your voice pitches into a gravelly range every now and then. My voice becomes extremely gravelly when I'm tired. I would say that my voice is actually fairly croaky by nature. But when I'm talking to people, I give my voice energy and oomph and strength because I care about the conversation and I want to be sure that they hear in my tone that I care when I'm speaking to them. So are you worried that your voice is too gravelly? Don't worry about it too much. Just make sure that you're not doing those reality... Just make sure that you're not adopting those aggravating reality TV show... Just make sure that you're not adopting those aggravating reality TV show or pop starlet mannerisms of trailing off at the end of your sentences, of ending too many of your sentences with an upward lilt, like you're always asking a question, or that you're not giving enough energy to what you're saying. Give some strength to your voice. Be engaged in the person you're speaking to and let it show through your voice and through your face. And you won't need to worry about the vocal fry affectation at all. Is a gravelly voice going to destroy your career? No, but a dismissive attitude will. And it's that attitude that Naomi Wolf was talking about. And it's that attitude that's coming across in the vocal fry speech pattern that Naomi Wolf was slamming. That's the problem. It's that attitude that you have to be diligent not to give to people so that you're not giving them an excuse to dismiss what you're saying. Speak in your natural tone. Give us some energy. Show us some enthusiasm. And I promise you, you are going to sound absolutely great. That was cheesy. Give some energy to your voice. You want to sound good? Don't worry about whether or not you're graveling at the end of your sentences. Just give some energy to your voice, speak with confidence, be engaged in the people who you are addressing, and you will not have to worry about, about any... So are you worried about... So don't waste your time worrying. So don't waste your time worrying about whether or not your voice is a bit gravelly at the end of your sentences. Just give us some energy, give us some strength, make sure that you're engaged and interested in the person that you're having the common... Give us some energy, give us some strength. Make sure that you're engaged and interested in the person you're having the conversation with. Do those things and you will not have to worry about sounding like a Kardashian. You will be perfectly acceptable in the business place and you won't be giving people a reason not to listen. You'll be perfectly acceptable in the business... So if you, so don't waste your time worrying about whether or not you're vocal frying, about whether or not your voice is going a bit gravelly at the end of your sentences, or even halfway through your sentences. If you don't want to sound like Kim Kardashian, then give us some energy, give us some expression, respect the people you are addressing and are having a conversation with, and you'll come up trumps. I promise you, you will sound good if you're doing those things. So don't waste your time worrying about whether or not your voice gets overly gravelly or whether or not you're doing this vocal fry croak when you speak. You're probably not doing it as much as you think you are. Give us some energy. Give us some oomph. 
make sure that you're showing the interest in the conversation that you're having and the people you're speaking to. And if you do those things, you won't be giving the people listening to you an excuse to dismiss what you have to say. Don't turn the vocal fry molehill into a gigantic mountain. Bring your confidence, bring your A-game, speak with some energy, and you will do just fine. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, head on over to laurensergi.com. I've included a link in the description down below. And sign up for my newsletter. You'll get my blog posts. You'll get my video posts. You'll also get some stuff that I only send out to my email subscribers. Stay tuned for the next video and keep on talking.